Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving length contraction. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering a the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that an astronaut on board a very fast space shuttle, which is travelling at 0.6 times the speed of light, measures the length of a probe to be 45 centimetres. Part A says what would be the length measured by an observer on Earth watching the shuttle? Well, notice that in the question, the length of probe as measured on board the space shuttle is going to be its proper length, which is L. Whereas in part A, we're asked to find the length measured by an observer on the Earth. So that is when you're far away from the rest frame of the event or the object in this case. So we're trying to find L dash or L prime and we're given L. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find L dash. We know that L is 45 centimetres and V is 0.6 times the speed of light. Just like we did in one of the questions on time dilation, we're going to keep this as it is because we'll see that in the equation for length contraction, the C value will cancel out. So writing down our equation for length contraction, we have L dash is equal to L times the square root of 1 minus V over C squared. Substituting in the numbers, we get 45 times square root of 1 minus 0.6 C over C squared. And notice that the C terms on the top and bottom of our fraction will cancel out. You can then put that into your calculator and I'd recommend doing the 0.6 squared first and then the 1 minus that and then the square root of that to get an answer of 36 centimetres. Part B says if the space shuttle increases its speed to 0.8 times the speed of light, what is the length of probe that the observer measures? Well, this is very similar to what we just did in part A, but we're now just using a different speed because we're still asked to find the relativistic length. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find L dash. We know that L is 45 centimetres and V is 0.8 C. So writing down our equation again, we have L dash equals L times the square root of 1 minus V over C squared. Substituting in your numbers this time, you get 45 times the square root of 1 minus 0.8 C over C squared. And again, cancelling out your C's there, we should get an answer of 27 centimetres once you put that into your calculator. Lastly, part C says explain what is meant by length contraction. Well, this is a definition straight from the notes. So length contraction is the apparent decrease in length of an object that is moving relative to an observer. So the object itself will appear to be squashed only in the direction of travel. And that's something important to remember. Question two says that a spacecraft is traveling at a constant speed of 0.2 times the speed of light relative to the moon. An observer on the moon measures the length of the moving spacecraft to be 190 meters. What is the length of the spacecraft as measured by an astronaut on the spacecraft? Well, notice that we're asked to find the length of the spacecraft measured by an astronaut which is in the same frame of reference as the event. So in this case, we're asked to find the proper length L. And that means we're given in the question 190 meters, which is our relativistic length. So writing down what we know from the question, we can say that L equals question mark. We know that L prime or L dash is 190 meters and we know that V is equal to 0.2 C. So again, I'm just gonna leave it as that so that the C's can cancel out in the equation. So writing down our length contraction equation, we get L dash equals L times the square root of one minus V over C squared. Substituting in the numbers now, we get 190 equals L times the square root of one minus 0.2 C over C all squared. And what I'd recommend to do now is put this into your calculator and then to get L on its own, we divide 190 by your answer to this term. So we then end up with L equals 190 over 0.98. So this whole term here comes out as 0.98. And if you put this fraction into your calculator, you should get an answer of 194 meters. Now a quick check to see if this is a reasonable answer is that our proper length L should be a bigger value than our relativistic length L dash. And that is because the length is going to get smaller, remember. So this is true here, so this is bigger than our relativistic length. So that means our answer seems okay here. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.